Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to all of my patrons. My name's Neil, and it's time for another episode of QI. This is another viewer request from my comments on Patreon, and we're going back to Series E, guys, relatively early in the Stephen Fry run of the show, which is exciting. I get to see a young Alan Davies again. Um, this is episode 13 from that series and it's entitled Elephants which has me curious because it seems like a a relatively specific name for a QI episode that our, our titles tend to be a little more broad and uh, generic in scope the fact that we're gonna do an entire episode centered around elephants now obviously we'll stray as we always do in QI but I find that intriguing and a little bit exciting i'm an animal guy i'm into into the wildlife so let's jump into it obviously this isn't an xl version the xls didn't uh, start popping out until season f so if you are doing a full reaction watch along with me i'll include the link in the description below let's jump into it this is episode 13 from series e and it's called elephants then what would you like? Oh. QI compilation show, please. Oh, yes, I think we can manage that. No question. They had some fun with the green screen there. So is this just the compilation show for Series E? All right. Why well, call it elephants, I wonder? Definitely uh, a little bonus Christmas in the music. That's fun. I never do know what I'm getting into with these recommendations, so... I'm up for anything. Now remember, what you have to do is show me the proper Italian way to eat spaghetti. You can use any of the things... Oh, we're jumping right Phil into it. ...is doing very well. Oh. Not the Johnny Vegas way. Oh! I'm just sorry, this is the best quiz I've ever been on. <laughs> Alan gets 20 points because that's how Neapolitans eat spaghetti. They lean back and drop it into their mouths that's by not, hand. That's not for Alan thinks mashed potatoes are finger food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Parmesan, please. <laughs> I'll have a few Parmesan. Parmesan's a weird food because it tastes delicious. It smells like the gym socks of a, a child with some sort of glandular problem. <laughs> <laughs> I find it's actually the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I buy it off people in the street. <laughs> they tell me it's original Aragga uh, uh, Janano. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you get brilliant. Another round of applause, I think. <sighs> See what you can tell me about them. I'd like to know. This is going to be a tough edit they can already. Cross the Pacific Ocean. It's a map. No, that's a that's that's a Some that's a sea chart. Map. Rudimentary. The the shells are islands. Dreamcatcher, yeah. It's not. You could use your scrotums, it would help. Wet Dreamcatcher. <laughs> <laughs> it, actually, you want to turn it 90 degrees. Like that? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a map of waves, and you use your scrotum by feeling the swell of the water, and the scrotum is the most sensitive part. So it feels the way the water swells. <laughs> It's quite gender specific then. This <laughs> <case>. <laughs> you might, you might say it gives a new meaning to ball bearings. Could <laughs> <laughs> women do it with their, with their breasts though? Could they do it? Well, I think it's very important that we find out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ladies, tell us which way the waves are going. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the biggest banana republic in Europe? There's an elephant in the room. How is an elephant connected to a banana republic in Europe? Well, I don't know. Elephants like bananas. <laughs> Iceland. <laughs> Iceland. Volcanoes covered in elephants, guzzling... Oh, no wonder that Bjork's weird. <laughs> there are no elephants involved, but the largest banana-producing country in Europe is, is Iceland. Iceland. Come on! <laughs> so they got greenhouses in Iceland? I withdraw my pachyderm. Yes. <laughs> There's a country in Europe that buys the entire banana crop of Belize every year. It's Ireland. 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 The biggest exporter of bananas in Europe. You buy the whole crop of... Not you personally. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I also 
don't remember this ever going to a vote. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention, I was always confused how we had a very famous banana company in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My step-granddad worked at Stratford Fruit and Veggie Market and sometimes it was quite cold and he'd stay there all night and he would sleep in with the bananas because it was warm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then he said to me, the unions put a stop to that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the expression, sleep in with the bananas. Yeah. <laughs> it implies that the bananas are asleep as well. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest banknote the Bank of England prints? Do you know? That one. The, no, the... <laughs> thousand. Fifty thousand. Oh, bigger than that. Million. Squillion. Bigger than a million. Two Wh million, three million, four million, five million, yeah. fifty million, hundred million. A hundred million! There are forty one hundred million pound notes in the Bank of England. Oh, what a fantastic... Get, get her a taxi. All over yeah, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Change, please. I've got it's one known, of them, actually. Have you got one? Yeah, I did an extra shift in the Golden Egg in 1972. <laughs> <laughs> what would you get if you used an ejector seat to escape from this helicopter? Oh. Yeah. Very short headache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then gone. The ejector just goes out uh, sideways. Uh, no doubt. There's a, there's a trapdoor. There's a trapdoor. <laughs> <laughs> well, You'd simply, simply have to get rid of the rotors. Down. You'd simply have to blow them oh. away milliseconds before oh. the ejectors. That's what it says away. in the manual, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously they've had very few complaints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Can you get them for your, uh, for your just for your house? <laughs> <laughs> just sort of domestic use. You know, you know what? This evening is very disappointing. <laughs> 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 what is the world's most expensive meat? Be a, a unicorn steak. Blowfish cheek. <laughs> or a mermaid fillet. Yes. <laughs> Mammoth. It's not what I have. You mean I have wasted your elephant? <laughs> It's it actually again. Alan's. My one's down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Japanese beef, the special. Oh, no, not it's not Wagyu. No. They claim that the cattle are massaged and fed on beer. It's actually nonsense. <laughs> well, they used to be fed. <laughs> you want to be one, don't you? I, know. <laughs> you want... I was one in a previous life. <laughs> <laughs> It is a manufactured food made from something called myoblasts, which are a kind of stem mm. cell. Well, this is, uh, <laughs> like 14 years ago. I mean, you can buy that stuff, to grow muscle. I so believe, already. And, and it gets like a 100% a, a a cheaper or a 1,000% cheaper every year. These, at the moment, however, a single kilo costs $10,000. But I, I have to go home after this. Yes, you do. And it'll be dry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. There's no place well, for crisp butties in the future. We're going to end up with the munch on, on white bread for, for the next 20 years, aren't we? Who's going to remove... Nobody removes a stem cell from a monster bud. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want one that's been meddled with and, and had needles put into it. No. I mean... want a fresh bag. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Probably pickled onion. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's a deal. <laughs> Do you know about Yantan Tethera? Sheep Cumbrian, County. Yes, for sheep County. County. It actually goes Yantan Tethera, Methera, Pimp, Sethera, Lethera, Hovera, Dovera, Dick, Yanadick, Tianadick, Tethera, Dick, Methera, Dick, Bumfit suddenly appears. <laughs> which is 15. And it goes bumfit. all the way up to Gigot, which is 20. So one in every 15 will, will be a bumfit. Will be a good bumfit. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Alan did a play in Edinburgh and we had to share the stage with some Korean dancers and the stage was sprung for these dancers. They were all sitting around playing poker, and I had to walk behind them, and if I walked heavy enough, they'd go up and down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> raked stages are the other thing, when they're yes. raked down. I, I went to uh, a matinee performance of The Tempest. I was a child at the time, but actors in matinees get very frisky and, and just like to take the piss out of the play because they're bored yeah. stiff. In The Tempest, all the sprites, you know, uh, an era did a sort of human pyramid. Paul Brook was playing one of these lords with a big fur coat, you know, that went all the way down, and he decided for the matinee to be naked underneath it. And at one point, <laughs> he had to look upstage, and he just opened his coat like that. <laughs> the, the girl at the top of the pyramid urinated with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> went all the way down the pyramid. <laughs> all the way down the stage. It trickled all the way down. the edge of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a guinea pig at home, and every time it, it's just it lives at its life at a state of, it, of extreme 
terror Tr the whole time. <laughs> and as you pick it up, you go, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. <laughs> well, that's bred into them from Peru. Guinea pigs are big meat crop in Peru. You can kill them with anything. Yes, stick dressing up as an eagle, maybe that's the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> Men. Hello. Oh yes. That's you not might get MSG milk. out. You might what? because it's present in milk, and if a man lactates, Hello. which men do, yeah, it's one of the reasons babies like milk is it's full of glutamate. In fact, this is why I don't want to do shows like. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lie awake at night fearing that I'm lactating poison. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that I've already hurt people enough in my lifetime. <laughs> Don't I don't want meaty tasting don't, breasts. Don't. <laughs> I feel nature I, may disappoint. I don't. There's nothing we can do for you. I'm afraid your breasts do taste slightly meaty if, <laughs> if you're lactating. But let's face it, they'd be meaty anyway because they're flesh. Johnny, don't be scared of your own flesh. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the best way to escape a charging polar bear? Shoot it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Take your clothes off. Exactly. It yeah. stops to pick up your clothes and smell them, and you just get further that away. <laughs> yeah, but now you're naked in the Arctic. You will obviously be chilly, I suspect. <laughs> yeah. well, you won't be eating, chilly, so. and it would eat you and go, that's good, that one didn't have a wrapper. <laughs> 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 I know, bless you. <laughs> Can I just give you a blessed story quickly? He climbed, tried to climb Everest a few years yeah. ago. They had to sleep overnight kind of at the edge of a glacier, so they were all in a tent that was, like, hanging off a washing line, howling gale, and one guy went, oh, what a shit, about 3 o'clock in the morning. So off he goes out the tent, does it, gets back in. Someone went... Like that. It's going on. And what had happened was he'd done a poo, it had flown around space a bit and landed in the hood of his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what a shithead. Anyway, what <laughs> What's this for? Uh, yes. It's not four, it's three. Gives you specific information pertaining to the relation between the column and the, the thing. Not exactly. It's what's called a triglyph. That's right. Um, a triglyph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they would have three planks in three a line planks. Yeah. supporting. <laughs> supporting. <laughs> supporting. Go on, Steve. Go on. <laughs> supporting Brian. the roof. The roof. Yeah. And so when they then started working in marble, they marble. just echoed. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Um, there you are. You're... <laughs> they say of the Acro Acro Acropolis, where, where the Parthenon is... Here we get it. Here we get it. Where the Parthenon the is. <laughs> they say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is... I've been told about this segment <laughs> so many times. I think you might well, they say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is... is. <laughs> well, everybody, is say everyone! What is going on? Say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is... Be good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they just crushed him. Uh, uh, Sorry, <laughs> I just got a question. What do they say about the Acropolis where the Parthenon is? <laughs> they say. <laughs> what do they say? What do they say? <laughs> he's going to say, 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 he's going to say. <laughs> Oh dear God! Say of the Acropolis, the top of <laughs> there are no straight lines. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh dear God, that was ruthless. Oh. Did I? Yeah. Whatever. Good night. Happy Christmas. See you next year. Oh. All right. Oh, that that segment has been haunting me since I started reacting to QI. People have been saying you have to see this thing and I so I've been aware of it for a while, but I've been purposely avoiding finding out more about it at all. And someone even recommended to me the episode of E engineering i guess where they originally filmed the segment but i guess they didn't include it in the regular episode and put it in the in the the compilation episode instead which is this one which is clearly why it was recommended to me this is going to be a hell of an episode to edit together and keep for those of you that don't understand i can't include more than a about 10 minutes of footage and I can't include any more than a 10 second clip at a time so this will be a challenge this will be a challenge to convey all the humor in this episode without cutting the episode to heck um, but I'm gonna try and it's gonna be fun and I hope I did that bit justice but the YouTube algorithm can be brutal sometimes Nevertheless, that's... Oh, I haven't laughed that much in a while. That was so much fun. Ah. <laughs> what a great group to just... Uh, give it to Steven like that. You know, and they've all got... Uh, they're just... Uh, I, you, you guys know it. There's no point in me trying to explain it. That was just awesome to see. I feel like... Uh, <laughs> thank you thank you guys for making sure I saw that uh, I feel like I can you know it's like carrot in a carrot in a box or something it's I feel like it's like one of those incredibly notorious bits that you just sort of have to eventually see and tick it off your list of um, important life uh, important cultural events that you you know you have to read Hamlet you have to watch um, the Godfather and you have to watch they say of the they say of the Parthenon where the they say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is Ugh, they say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is <sighs> they say of the Acropolis where the Parthenon is what did they say he's gonna say he's gonna say jeez <laughs> oh, okay no, I love this show. I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more of these in the coming weeks and months and years. I love how much QI there is out there for me to, to react to. And until next time, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.